Hello, everyone, and good afternoon. We're at one o'clock, so we will start the session. Um, welcome to the George Brown PLC webinar. Thank you for finding time to join us today for this informative session. Please note that this session will be recorded and we'll be sharing the recording with you after the event. So to start with, I would like to take just a quick minute to introduce my team. My name is Julia Malnikova, and I'm the manager of online technical training department at George Brown College. And I will be your co-host. With me today are my colleagues and co-presenters. Uh, Geet Amin, uh, who is a senior technical and support consultant. Geet, if you want to just say hi on camera. And Iris Rosenbluth, uh, distance education coordinator. Hi, also, everybody. <laughs> thanks, Iris. Also, some uh, housekeeping items for today. Note that this, there will be dedicated Q&A session at the end uh, of the presentation. So you're welcome to save your questions and uh, we will take them during that time. Uh, we also will have a chat open throughout the presentation. So if you have any uh, burning questions, something in the moment, please drop them in the chat. And Iris here will be doing her best to moderate, moderate them and answering uh, throughout the presentation. If some questions won't get answered, Iris will bring them forward at the end during the Q&A session. Also, uh, thank you again to those who have pre-submitted your questions before the event. Some of those will be addressed during this presentation. Um, and we also will take some that will be not answered during the Q&A session. Also, please note that during presentation, all participants will be muted and cameras will be turned off. But we again welcome you to leverage the chat function again during the presentation. As I mentioned, this is an informative session with the goal to give you a comprehensive overview of PLC program and share some differentiators that make this program really unique in the market with proven success. Our goal is to keep this presentation to 30 minutes, including Q&A, but we're also happy to stay a little bit longer if you have many questions. On this note, I'll pass it on to my colleague, Geet, who will give you an overview of the PLC program. Thank you, Julia. Um, I hope everyone can hear me. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you for joining us today for the webinar. Um, uh, as Julia already introduced myself earlier. My name is Geet. Um, um, uh, I work as a senior systems and technical consultant at George Brown College, and I've been with the college for a good 14 years, so it's it's a long time. Um, I'm excited to take you all through some of the technical side of the program. Um, uh, as we all know, uh, technical, practical experience is very important for, for, for a PLC technician. Um, so our both our PLC and PLC te two technician programs are are designed to fit your busy schedules, um, you know, as they are entirely online. Um, them being online does not lack any any hands-on practical experience. Uh, the online format provides you the flexibility to integrate, you know, learning into your daily busy schedule because a lot of our students they are working full time and they study uh, in the evenings and and on weekends. Um, one of the standout features of our program is the extensive collection of uh, now, uh, pre-built lab projects that we have, there are more than 250 pre-built lab projects you will find um, uh, in our program, which you will use the simulation software to run them and to learn the ladder logic programming using them. So these projects are an integral part of your learning um, as they will help you to learn the ladder logic programming um, as well as, um, as well, excuse me, I'm a little bit under the weather, so my throat is not... <clears throat> And I'm the best right now, um, but this this lab projects will help you learn the ladder logic programming using the simulation software. So for PLC one, we use the PLC Logics five hundred. While for PLC two, we use the PLC Logics five thousand. We will explore more on the simulation uh, software shortly in the uh, coming slides. But I'm um, now looking at the overall. Um, uh, uh, the overview of the program, at the end of each module, uh, you'll be required to do an online exam. Uh, These exams are timed 90 minutes and you're required to answer 30 questions. Now, online exams follows the exact same format as of the practice exam, um, which uh, which which helps a lot to our students. Um, and, and this is why we strongly recommend um, our students to take the practice exam at least three, two, two, two to three times um, before attempt, attempting the online exam. Um, now, 
each time you load a practice exam, you'll see different questions um, coming up. So it will always force you to answer some of the calculative question or the programming question. So you know, then the more number of time you do it, the better it will be for you. It will, it will give you a good practice before you, uh, before you attempt for an online exam. Now, both our programs are offered uh, in a web-based format, which requires you to have an internet connection to access the curriculum. But the simulation software is installed locally on your computer. So you won't need an internet connection to use the simulation tool to practice the uh, ladder logic programming, um, allowing you to learn and you know uh, uh, master your skills um, at your own convenience. Um, when Once you register for the program, uh, you'll receive a link to download the curriculum and simulation software to your computer, and this will get you going. So it's a very simple um, uh, process to register and start the program. You can, you're, you can conveniently start any time, um, any day of the year. Okay, we can go to the next slide, um, if you don't mind, Julia. Thank you. Okay, so here we are looking at um, the PLC and PLC2 programs uh, side by side. Uh, let's start with the PLC Technician 1. Um, this program is, is, um, is kind of uh, made for someone who is new to PLC or uh, who has very minimal experience uh, with PLCs because um, it serves as a very foundational uh, introduction to PLC and it, it places strong emphasis on um, practical applications within manufacturing environment and um, plant systems. So it's it's not it starts with a very basic introduction, but it takes you um, it takes you uh, uh, to to intermediate to higher um, uh, programming skills. So once you register into the PLC program, um, you will you will be very much focused in learning the ladder logic programming. We understand that some of you may require, um, you know, someone may have learned PLC long time ago, and some of you may require some uh, initiation to the fundamentals uh, of PLC programming, then this program would be best for you. Um, again, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the best feature in the program is the simulation software. Uh, PLC Technician 1 program comes with PLC Logix 500, um, uh, which emulates the Rockwell Logix 500 series um, software. Uh, it allows you to design, test, and troubleshoot ladder logic programs. It also allows you to, you know, uh, simulate the operation of real-world PLC applications. Um, there are eleven different manufacturing environments. Uh, we call it 3D worlds. We'll look at them a little later in coming slides. Um, looking at the PLC2 program. Um, this is the advanced program, which builds on the fundamentals or the foundational skills you, you learn in the first program, um, but not necessarily um, um, you have to do the PLC Technician 1 before taking PLC 2. They both can be taken independently. Uh, there are no prerequisites. Um, you can start with any program depending on your background and on your, on your uh, skills you already have, or if you're working in a company which is using um, which is using the advanced PLC, um, which is Studio 5000 compared to RS Logix 500, then you will register into PLC 2 and not PLC 1. So it all it is it is very independent to each other. It is very flexible. It all depends on um, where you are and where you are looking to go. Um, uh, uh, the PLC Technician 2 program covers some of the advanced topics like DCS and SCADA, um, while um, you know, at the same time, it also has the uh, simulation software similar to PLC1, which covers all the different manufacturing environments. Um, um, once again, we'll look at those 3D environments a little later. So both our programs are structured and structured to offer an effective path uh, for you to gain expertise in the field of PLCs. Okay, um, let's move on to the next slide here, please. Thank you. So here's a brief introduction to the outline. Um, we can see all the modules covered in both PLC and PLC2 program uh, side by side. Um, as we can see, there are 19 modules in both um, uh, both the programs. What, what's interesting is uh, there are seven modules that overlap between these two programs, which means that if you start with PLC1, and later on, if you decide to enroll into PLC2 program, you will receive credit for those seven shared modules, so seven common modules. This, this means you will not have to pay for them twice. Now, each module in, in our program um, covers both theory and practical examples. Uh, so you'll get a very well-rounded understanding of the material. Um, 
within each module, you'll find resources like review questions, practice exams, um, lab projects. As I mentioned earlier, there are more than 250 pre-built lab projects. Uh, there are practical programming examples, which are very important for you to learn uh, the ladder logic programming, as well as the, the skills that you will need uh, to work in a manufacturing industry. So these resources are not just educational, but they are very essential um, uh, to, to prepare you for a, for a rewarding career in manufacturing industry. Uh, we are uh, we always um, uh, we always make sure that our course curriculum is up to date uh, with the technological advancement. As we know, security is a big concern these days, uh, not just in computers but also in PLCs. So we covered different topics such as uh, PLC cybersecurity. We recently added add-on instructions, the UDTs, PID instructions. Um, we cover SCADA security and many more um, those advanced topics um, in our PLC2 as well as in some in our PLC1 program. Depending on um, uh, which module you're going through, you'll learn dif different topics uh, along with the practical um, lab projects, um, supporting them uh, uh, using the simulation software. And now, so this ensures you um, not you're not just learning the fundamentals, but you're also learning the latest um, advancements in the field of PLC. Okay, we can take a look at the um, um, in the next slide, um, Julia. Thank you. So here we have prepared a very small uh, video presentation. Um, uh, thank you, Julia. Uh, so the, fir the first scenario we're looking at is a batch mixer application. It is widely used in the chemical and pharmaceutical industries. As displayed on the screen, there are um, the, the, the mixture, the batch mixer was mixing up different chemicals. Uh, and, and there are now on the screen is the bottle line plant, again, used in the pharmaceutical or, or beverages industries. Um, you know, depending on the size of the bottle and the color of the liquid, the bottles are sorted into different sections over there. Um, all these 3D worlds are controlled and operated by the ladder logic program running in the background. Uh, you'll see the ladder logic in the next slide. Um, we have accelerated the video a little bit here um, due to time constraint, but uh, as you can see here is the car wash um, simulation software. You will learn how to control the wash cycle, the soap cycle and everything. The next is the elevator application, showing you how elevators are controlled by the PLCs. There are so many applications um, uh, commonly used around us, uh, which are controlled by PLC um, and, and which requires lots of PLC technicians to, con to maintain and troubleshoot these applications. So um, oh, here's the silo application, uh, in, which is very commonly used in agriculture and uh, food produce industries. Um, um, you know, you'll see the box filling up, the sensors, the, the, the silo controls on the panel over there. The next is the traffic light signal and the, the ladder logic in the background will allow you to control the timing of the lights, the red, yellow and green light um, on the north, south and east, west corner. So you will learn how to how to control all the simulation um, uh, 3D world manufacturing environments using the ladder logic programming using a simulation software. Um, moving on to the next slide here. Thank you, Julia. So here's the list of all the manufacturing environments um, covered in PLC and PLC2. Um, our PL, uh, in, so both our programs, they come with, uh, um, they come with the sim industry standard simulation software. Um, again, the difference between the two is the, the programming style, the, the, um, the older uh, or you can say the introduct the introductory part, um, the PLC one program, which which comes with the PLC Logix five hundred, is based on RS Logix five hundred. So it used the file based addressing, while the the PLC Logix five thousand is the advanced, which used the tag based addressing. So that's the difference. The programming style is the difference. Now you know um, the the best part of this programs is once you install this. Um, software on your computer, you will have full access, not just to the curriculum, but also to the simulation software. So a lot of our graduates and um, and students and graduates, what they do is even, even after they finish the program, they continue to use this simulation software to practice and uh, refresh their PLC skills. So you are, you are more than welcome to use it even after you graduate, you own the software. As long as you continue to use the same computer and same license, you're You'll you'll have full access to the curriculum as well as the simulation software. Um, the number, the, all the lab projects and practical programming examples covered in various modules on the program. They will uh, they will open up using one of this um, 3D world. 
and you will you will learn how to control this 3D world um, using the ladder program in the background. Okay. We can take a look at the one of and one of the example in the next slide uh, in detail. Um, there you go. Thank you, Julia. So here we can see a a typical example of a practical um, challenging um, uh, question that we we offer um, in our modules. Um, as we can see here, um, this question is asking students to modify the ladder program. Um, to address this, uh, the, 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 one, the four points mentioned over there. Um, I hope you all can see it clearly. Uh, the the question, uh, question is asking um, to add 20 units of solution A and 10 units of solution B to the tank. Um, and, and it is asking you to add the instructions to mix the solution. It is also asking you to add the instructions to apply heat until it reaches a set point temperature. Once it reaches the set point temperature, you'll have to you'll have to add an instruction to drain the solution um, and, and then add a two second delay and then repeat the entire process. So on the right hand side, we can see a ladder program um, this is a perfect example of uh, how you can control, um, how you can modify this ladder program uh, to, to control the 3D world that we are looking at the bottom of the screen. Um, uh, we, we try to fit as much as we can on one page here. Uh, sorry about that. But once you have access to the program curriculum, you'll have full access to everything. Um, but you can modify the ladder program shown on the right. Um, to achieve the four tasks mentioned on the question and then run the simulation so that it performs accordingly on the 3D world um, uh, shown over there in the batch mixer. Okay, moving on to the next slide here. Oh, thank you. I, I would pass it back to Julia now. Um, uh, she'll continue with the presentation. Over to you, Julia. Thank you, Geet. Um, so in the next session, uh, section of this presentation, I'll quickly go over seven reasons why you should choose PLC program, as there are a number of key differentiators, as I mentioned, and Geet actually already covered some in his part, that are unique in the market, and we've seen proven success with training students. Um, for, for purposes of time, I'll go over this rather quickly, so we have enough time for Q&A um, at the end of this uh, presentation, and as well as you will get uh, a copy of this presentation and a recording, so you, you'll have this information as well. So number one reason, as you might be already familiar with George Brown College, we have a stellar reputation. Um, we located in Toronto, Canada. We're fully, uh, we're public fully accredited college. Um, as part of our department uh, in continuing ed, uh, we work not only um, in Toronto, GTA, Ontario, but we have students because of online program delivery. Uh, across Canada, US, as well as globally. So we're very proud to have graduated over 11,000 graduates already since 1995. And in addition to PLC program, in case you're exploring other programs, we do offer similar format for electronics, electromechanics, robotics, automation, our newest program, electric vehicles that we added last year. Reason number two, um, as Git already mentioned, because of online demand, uh, on demand e learning delivery of our programs, uh, it's incredibly flexible. You can study anytime, any place. So you're really in control of your own learning journey. The online uh, learning is also, and on demand learning is very friendly to different learning styles. There's no pressure being in the classroom, so you can study at your own pace, um, you know, whether it is uh, work-life balance or maybe you are just entering this area or you, you're more experienced, you can really adjust your learning uh, style and pace, um, you know, uh, on your own. So in terms of uh, kind of the pace and uh, completion, we have no deadline for completion. So again, depending whether you are entering, uh, you have some knowledge in PLCs or, or not, you can adjust your own pace of study. On average, completion time for our programs is about 32 weeks of part-time study. Um, the training, as Git already mentioned, is reusable. What that means is that you get to keep the software simulation 
after graduation. So after you get your certificate, you can continue using the software and practice your new skills. Um, also, because you're in control of your learning, additional skills that you develop with the on-demand e-learning is self-confidence, to be more independent, to troubleshoot on your own, as well as to learn better organization and time management skills, which are very useful in any work environment. Reason number three is open enrollment. You can register anytime. So we're not attached to traditional uh, intakes for fall, winter, spring, summer um, semesters. You literally can decide your you can start study start studying on a weekend <laughs> if you like. So there's really it's very flexible to sign up. There's three convenient ways to register. You could do it on the phone, online, or over the email. I'll talk to you a little bit about our payment options. They're also very flexible. Um, and then, of course, there's some uh, tuition uh, reimbursement opportunities that are possible with um, potentially your employer or other organizations you might be working with. So in terms of entry requirements, um, you really don't need to have any PLC experience. Although it is helpful, it is not essential. So that's number one. We, um, uh, we do ask for a high school diploma with credits at or above the general level or equivalent to mature status. If you're 19 years old or older and do not have a high school diploma, you may enroll as a mature student. Uh, Git has already mentioned that in terms of running software and our web-based materials, you don't have to have a sophisticated hardware or computer. The only limitation is perhaps for those who are used to using Apple computers and Macs, uh, we, we do, our programs do not support Apple computers. So there was one of the questions that came through before the event is if you can use iPads. Unfortunately, you cannot. Um, but otherwise, uh, if you're using PCs, you don't have to have a sophisticated uh, computer to run these programs. Reason number five, affordable tuition. So uh, you can register for a full program and the cost of PLC is $1,700, um, or you can pay as you learn. So what it means is you can buy uh, module per module, and modules we, we call it courses. So uh, the, for the first module and um, the independent learning package, there's a bit of a that, um, you know, steeper price of so 440 but additional modules are $70 each and there are 18 of them. So once you uh, get this initial package of 440, the incremental cost of $70, you, you can pay at your own pace as well as you decide how fast you're gonna progress for, through um, these courses. Purchasing a textbook is completely optional. It's a good additional resource, but all our exams are not based on a textbook. They're based on the web-based materials that you'll receive. And if you can see in the right side corner, comparing our program, the cost and the approximate time for completion with more of the other college programs and university degrees, you could see how like just with a small investment in our program, you will get job ready skills in a very short time. Um, and um, in the next slide, I believe, um, um, you can see that with just small investment, the potential for your um, like the 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 revenue that you'll receive in terms of your income is quite significant. These are just some examples we we saw uh, um, in terms of uh, compensation. But of course, you're welcome to do your own research, um, and on average, you'll see the, this compensation across board. Um, as well as we had some great testimonials for past students of the success they've achieved with our program. So as I mentioned, and this is a slide where I pause maybe a little bit more so I'm not gonna uh, speak over too quickly because I think it's incredibly important. So as I mentioned and Keith mentioned that our program is really uh, designed for students who take their learning journey in their own hands, so to speak. Uh, however, we don't leave our students on their own. So we built a really comprehensive support system to make sure that our students get to the finish line and get a certificate. So we have a student support center uh, with the subject matter experts in the area of study. And our student support center is open Monday to Sunday, 
During the weekdays, we're open from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. So it's almost 13 hour coverage on the business days. And, uh, and we have also somebody um, you know, uh, answering phones and emails on the weekend, which is a huge value add. Um, we take our customer service very seriously and our team is here to support you from anything, um, for example, you're trying to download a package, you're having trouble, if there's any other technical issues, they're here to troubleshoot. Or if you have a tutorial question regarding to maybe a math problem or um, another area that you're studying and you're having some difficulty, they'll help you walk, walk through that pro, uh, problem. So we really invested in your success and we wanna make sure that you get the certificate and successful in, in your job market. We also built a comprehensive online student resource center. So this is self-serve online uh, resource, which means it's accessible to you 24 seven. So there you'll find some helpful forums. One of them is peer to peer and the other one is monitored by our support staff, as well as additional learning resources, um, supplementary resources that um, uh, complement the program that, that you're studying as well as we have a, a closed Facebook group. So this is more uh, of the peer-to-peer -peer sort of interaction uh, between students and past graduates. And we also post more kind of, uh, you know, um, uh, in the moment content, so to speak, like any recent blogs or some articles, or even some job postings that, that we come across that might be quite helpful. So if you're still deciding which program is right for you, we certainly welcome you to contact our program consultants and I've already mentioned their um, hours. Uh, you can email them or you can call the toll free number listed here. We also put together a very quick quiz uh, that you can take online and also maybe do some self assessment before you talk to the program consultant. But either way, these resources are available to you as well as um, there's a website listed that you can visit and it's, it's quite detailed. So you can look at some of the program highlights. You can read some blogs or some videos. So if you want to do a little bit more research, this is also a very good resource for you. So on this note, I'll move on to a Q&A section of our presentation. And uh, I know we just have a few minutes left and we had some pre-submitted questions. So Iris, I'll just ask you very quickly if I'm okay to go through those questions or did we want to take some questions for the chat? We, we do have two questions um, from the chat. Uh, one that um, I answered but didn't delve deeply into. And Geet, that was the difference between the PLC and the AT program. And oh. the second one, Geet, uh, is for you is uh, asking if we will include OPC server to the PLC2 program. Okay, sure, Iris, I can, I can maybe cover those first. Julia, do you want me to answer those and then um, yeah, we can look at the piece of it? Sure, thank you. Okay, so um, to answer the first question about uh, difference between PLC and automation, um, uh, one of the biggest differences, um, you know, automation program is more like a combination of uh, of, um, of PLC, electromechanical, and robotics. Um, so you will get, um, you will get you when you when you register into the automation program, uh, you will learn topics uh, that are from taken from the PLC two, um, electromechanical and robotics. But you will not go as much in depth. Uh, what a lot of our students what they do is if they're not hundred percent sure which um, which program they want to specialize into, they will they would register into automation first, which will help them to understand uh, the whole. Uh, infrastructure where they will learn about electromechanicals, PLC, and robotics, and then they will specialize into PLC or robotics depending on the career that they are looking for. So if they are going to um, become a robotics programmer or a robotics technician, they can uh, take the robotics technician program and then specialize into that. Um, but our PLC programs are very heavily focused on teaching you the ladder logic programming. Um, so when you register into PLC one or PLC two, uh, the the entire focus is on teaching you the troubleshooting and maintaining skills for PLC uh, equipments. 
Um, what was the other question, Iris? Uh, sorry, I um, if you don't mind to repeat the second. It, it, yes, the second question was uh, OPC server to um, will we include that in the PLC two program? And um, I do have another question for you as well. Okay. Um. So it's a great question. Um. OP we do touch a little bit on the OPC servers in our PLC two program. Um. You know. Op um, it's it's. OPCs are similar to, um, you know, the the OLE uh, that Microsoft use uh, for their open communication. Um, uh, but it's it's very much like uh, you can say. So so we have a module. Um, let's put it this way: we have a module uh, on PLC communications where we cover a lot of uh, uh, communication protocols, and OPC is also covered in there. But we don't go as in depth. If you are looking to learn on OPC servers, OPC clients, and the whole infrastructure um, that's not covered in our program because our programs are focused on teaching you the PLC side of it. Because if you look at the the, the whole infrastructure, the whole cloud infrastructure where, where, where one there would be one OPC server, there would be one OPC, different OPC clients, and there would be PLCs and SCADAs and DCS. Um, um, in the same infrastructure and they, they will communicate with each other. So we focus on one aspect of it where, uh, where we teach you the PLC and SCADA and DCS, but unfortunately we don't cover the PL OPC servers and OPC clients. We, we, we uh, introduce them in our program. We show you how, how they communicate with the PLCs and how, how the communication works, but we don't go as deep into the OPC servers and how to handle the ser OPC servers and clients. I hope that answers the question. If if you need uh, more clarification, please um, reach out to our program consultants um, or or to me if you have to, and and we can definitely talk in detail on what's covered and what's not covered. Uh, Geet, another question for you. Uh, within Studio Five Thousand, do do you in, do we include languages like function charts, sequence charts, and others, structured text? So um, uh, we, we include all the programming languages. Uh, as we know, all six prog PLC programming languages, we introduce them in our programs. Uh, but our, our program is um, focused on teaching you the ladder logic programming. Uh, so when, when, you re when you graduate from either PLC1 or PLC2, you will master the ladder logic programming, uh, which is a very commonly used out there. Um, uh, and, and our programs are based on Ellen Bradley. So any jobs or any um, uh, market you look for North America, um, majority of the jobs require you to have the, uh, the ladder logic programming expertise, and that's what you will learn from our program. So we, you, you will learn about the SFC. Uh, you learn about the, um, uh, the, the, the all, all six different programmings, um, uh, but you will not go as deep as you would with with the ladder logic program. Do you have any other question for me, Aris? Um, uh, will H? Oh, sorry. Uh, in the course curriculum, it's not available. PID programming, analog signal scaling, and program logic. Uh, I, I guess question is, is it included in the uh, in the curriculum? We do cover PID programming. Uh, we cover PID in our PLC1 program, um, and it is included. Um, analog signaling um, uh, is something you will you will learn uh, so you know uh, uh, when you when you when you do the simulation software you will learn a little bit about analog and digital but we do cover PID, PID programming in detail yes are there any more questions uh, um th there is a question between um um, between PLC program and PLC Siemens. The, uh, it's the simulation software. If you just want to quickly touch on that, Gate. Mm -hmm. Sure. Our programs are based on Ella Bradley. Uh, so we do not uh, cover the uh, Siemens S7. Our PLC1 is Ellen Bradley 500. Uh, PLC2 is the Ellen Bradley 5000. Um, now, programming, PLC programming is, is very much like um, uh, computer programming, the object-oriented programming. So if you, if you know the fundamentals, if you, if you have learned how to 
how to do C++, um, it would not be as difficult for you to learn Java. Obviously, the syntaxes are going to be different between um, Ellen Bradley and Siemens. But if you know the concept, the fundamentals of PLC programming, you will be able to uh, apply it swiftly onto Siemens as well, um, uh, bearing in mind that you will have to learn the, the interface of Siemens S7 and some of the syntaxes that are different from Ellen Bradley. Julie, I think you can uh, go to the um, pre-submitted questions if you'd like now. Uh, sure. I think there's one question I'll start that might be more applicable to everyone, uh, is what methods and procedures are available for tuition payment? So the answer is we do accept all major credit cards. Um, and if your company is enrolling uh, you as an employee, we can also invoice um, once a purchase order has been issued. Um, another question we had is might, might be a little bit more specific, and I'm actually thinking. Um, so it's related to if I, if I'm a veteran or and a senior with 35 years in the field, and of course going to advance my career, is veteran financing available? So our programs are typically not eligible for veteran funding. However, we suggest you speak to our veteran uh, to your veteran uh, counselor or rep, as they may have seen cases where they have been funded. Uh, both programs provide a complete technical, um, uh, so, so yeah, so we recommend that you you um, get in touch with the, your local uh, veteran rep. And then Git, I think you had some questions as well that, um, that were pre-submitted. Uh, I think we, did we lose Git? Sorry about that. I was talking and didn't realize I was on mute. Thank you, Julia. No problem. <laughs> yeah, right. So one of the pre-submitted questions um, I have here on my end is um, someone asking if they can use um, iPad Pro uh, to use uh, to, to use the simulation software and the curriculum software. Uh, unfortunately, the answer is no. Our programs are um, uh, both, um, both PLC and PLC2 program. Uh, they are strictly Windows based, um, not just the curriculum, but also the simulation software. Uh, you will require to have a Windows based computer. Uh, it can be a tablet if you want. Nowadays, even the tablets have full Windows operating system. So that's not a problem. You can you can use a tablet as long as it has a Windows operating system on it, which allows you to install third party applications and not just the applications from Microsoft Store. Um, the other question I have is, um, is there a uh, is there a job placement um, uh, offered in the program? Um, uh, the unfortunately, the answer is no. Um, uh, uh, our students are located all over North America, um, and in fact, all over the world, and it's it's quite impossible for us to have the job placement. But we do have the Facebook group uh, where um, we invite all our students to join, um, and they continue to be part of the group even after they graduate. So, uh, which uh, um, and we we are always um, uh, reached out by different companies and employers and um, you know agencies um, who are looking for. Uh, graduates from the programs that we offer. Um, us being a college, they 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 reach out to us saying, if you have uh, someone who is recently graduated or someone who is who with with this kind of experience, they're looking for fulfilling one of the job posting they have on their end. And what we do is we post those jobs uh, on this Facebook group, um, uh, which reach out to all the students and graduate in the group. And at the same time, um, students and graduates are are more than welcome to. Um, you know, if they have an opportunity um, uh, in the company that they're working, they're they're more than welcome to you know, post it on the group um, and or reach out to us, and we can we can help them post it on the group. I believe um, that's all I have on my end. Um, Harris, do you have any more questions that may have? I'm, I'm yeah. I'm sorry. I'm I'm trying to answer some questions and read through them. Uh, Shimona. If you can help me out, is there anything that I've missed because I've been trying to answer some of the questions? Um, um, so we have a question from Taylor. He wants to know he's um, he does programming in robotics. Um, he just wanted to know, um, would you provide PLC2? Would it be necessary to, he wants to know which one would be 
better to take. That one would be better if we speak to a consultant. We would be better able to um, advise him on that. Um, Gid, there was a question regarding HMI. Um, they want to know if HMI will be included in PLC communication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do cover HMIs, yes. Yeah. Other than that, I think you've covered all the others, um, Iris. Terrific. Yeah. Thanks, Shimona. You're welcome. Okay, that, that's great. So it looks like we went 10 minutes over, but we had some really great questions. So thanks for uh, bringing those forward. We will end the webinar at this time. But again, we hope to hear from you. Um, our program consultants will be happy to address any other questions you may have. And we, again, will share this presentation with you um, in the slide format and the video as well. So thank you again. And thank you for your interest in PLC program and George Brown College. Thank you again, everyone. Have a good day.